Hello humans of the universe, heroes, villains, and everything in between, I'm not Pokemon and today we will be looking at spy movies, but only specific kinds of spy movies. I love the specifics, the specifics were the best part! <laughs> yes, funny spy movies, with one simple mechanic. One of the main characters is a spy and the other one is a normal person. Now today I'm going to be talking about a few more recent ones. If you're interested in me doing this again, I have a whole list of movies for it, if I ever do a second part. but. Now onto the movies. So first one will be the most recent one, Marky Mark. So this is my late Christmas present to you guys, talking about a shitty Mark Wahlberg movie. So this film has a very simple premise. Mark, I mean Dan, I mean Sean, ha, <laughs> funny joke if you've seen the movie. Okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. But anyways, these kids are terrible at listening to their parents. So I'll call this one Esports Boy and Lois Lane. So, Sean was secretly an assassin for, for hire, but he left that life because he realized that they were also killing good people and his father is in charge. Some guy posted a photo with Mark in the background, jeez, I mean Sean, who's Mark? So then his father finds him and Sean tells the family that they are going on a road trip to Vegas. London, baby! They go through some shenanigans and holy shit, what the hell? So this scene with the wife fighting this girl is like a different movie, like someone else wrote it. I don't watch these movies because they're realistic or whatever, but this scene decided that it wanted this fight to be more realistic. The problem is that she falls so much that she probably would have broken something in real life or died, and it also doesn't fit the film, in my opinion. Anyways, I just like the fun and unrealistic battle abilities that these movies have, and this part makes parts like the fact that no one shot the drone seem extra silly because of this random fight scene. I just wish it wasn't here just because it feels nothing like the rest of the movie. It's extra violent, extra real, and extra weird. Also by the way, one of the best things I've in movies like this is that murder doesn't matter. Like the mother kills two people and she just goes back to her normal life. <laughs> but yeah, so in the middle the daughter hits some pressure points and it's pretty epic, epic games, epic gamer moment. Okay, so I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. Actually, let's start lower for this one so we can give some other numbers. Okay, throw me some numbers. So, 7 out of 10. So the next one will be... Ghosted, ta-da! So this film has a bit of a different beginning. So these two have a one night stand, then Chris stalks her. No, not that Chris, although... No, no, stop, bad law Pokemo. So then it turns out she's a spy. I am the spy. And she can't keep a plant alive and Chris loves plants. And yes, I'm calling them by the actors' names, not the characters' names. So this film, like most films, like this one, still tries to be a little serious. Why so serious? But it's okay, I forgive. So anyways, after the bugs, Chris finds out she's a spy because he almost dies to a hornet. So then she gets mad at him, then they get in a bus. Okay, so I'm gonna skip a little. So the Winter Soldier, aka Bucky Barnes, aka Sebastian Stan. Anyways, he dies, the Falcon dies, and some other guy dies. So these people are bounty hunters. So then Chris here suplexes some guy. That's in the bus from before, but I wanted to mention it now because him being a kid who wrestled, not WWE wrestling, I mean real wrestling. <laughs> I guess high school wrestling, it's like neither of those things. But anyways. <laughs> He can fight, so yeah, it makes it a little more realistic than some of these stories. Oh, come on, he has asthma. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay, I'm cool, I'm cool. Then she kidnaps Chris so she can get in with the big bad. Because, do you remember when Chris almost died to a hornet? Well, that's because they thought Chris was the secret agent. Oh, and earlier I should have mentioned that she killed her own partner, but it was because she was evil. So she talks to the villain and this briefcase is super important because it has the important weapon that they're gonna sell to the buyer. So you're the tax man. Yeah, that's her name. So pay your taxes or you know you'll die. So the bad guy, he needs the, pa the passcode. What's the password? Open this door! Not even close. So then her and Chris go on a plane. She called you an idiot. Yeah. To your face. And then here we are. Thirsty? Be smart. Sociopath. I am not a sociopath. You know, says that a lot. Sociopaths. I have dated some crazies in my day, but you are certain. I am 
What's... all this? Hmm? So then Chris is a creep. So that's more evidence to the whole Chris is a creep stalker theory. I can't believe you took a picture of me while I was sleeping! Not of you! Of us! I know you were a creep! I'm not a creep! You know who says that a lot? So then an epic fight scene ensues where Chris suplexes another guy and Anna gets her ass kicked. But don't worry, because she's so short, she's able to choke the guy with her legs while her head doesn't touch the ceiling. Great. Oh, and she's also stabbed when they jump out of the plane and literally get stranded. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again expecting oh, shit. shit to change that is crazy so they still think chris is the tax man and the bad guy gives the other bad guy 48 hours to find them because that's when the buyer wants the box open box, who's in the box because i envy your normal life put the gun down david it seems that envy is my son oh what's in the box what's in the fucking box give me the gun. so chris goes all plant on us by the fire also get this anna's mother is dead like totally dead and then she joined the army and then this i mean chris has just never traveled the world and that's his trauma because he's scared and she's just like dead mother become a soldier blah 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 wow geez sign me up for that one. Oh, you thought i was saying geez because being alone is sad don't be stupid it's the guy from fortnite guy from fortnite guy from fortnite so then we get saved by the good guys i'm not bad i'm the good guy here so then fun fact you can also see one of Anna de Armas' real tattoos in this film, the moon one on her wrist. She also has a, a heart tattoo on her ankle, but I don't think you can see it. Lie detector test. And this guy with pretty eyes and great shoulders. Oh, right. The lie detector. So then she says it was a mistake to save Chris's life. Wait a minute. Are you saying you think it was a mistake to save my life? Yes. And he's super upset and she passes the test, but you know she's a CIA agent. Obviously she can lie on a lie detector test. Oh, and the life saving they're referring to is when they were attacked on the island and she should have went for the briefcase, also called Aztec. So then they argue in front of these people and yeah, it's pretty it's pretty something. So just yeah, then the boss wants to see her. What the boss is a woman? How stupid does this movie think I am? That was a joke, please. I'm sorry. It w it was just for laughs. Okay, let let's just move on. We'll slide that one under the rug. Damn, Anna the Amras has some nice eyes. Okay, so back on track. <laughs> so get this. There's a plant in the background of a bloody picture, and I'll just let Chris explain the rest. Oh my god. What am I looking at? A house plant? Well, it's not a house plant, that's an amaranth. A crop. Farmed in the Americas for thousands of years, mostly for food, but often used in rituals by the Aztecs. Oh my god, the plant wasn't hers. She took it from Horvath, the scientist. He was obsessed with the Aztecs use of human sacrifice. The genetic sequence of that amaranth is the passcode. So yeah, a plant was the key all along. Crazy. That is crazy. So then Cole, oh geez, sorry, I mean Chris, pretending to be the tax man one more time. So then Sadie, oh gosh, okay, so break from video here. I watched this movie to write this part of the script and I accidentally wrote the wrong name. So I just played it off as a joke, but this doesn't happen again. So it's fine. So Anna goes home, supposedly. Supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly. Did they go to the zoo? Supposedly. So they send the bad guys to the first part of the code so that way Chris can pretend that he went rogue and sell them the rest so it's go time. So the opening doors in this scene open late and I'm not sure if it's on purpose but I do think it's funny. So we get to the top of the spiraling building and it's final showdown. So Anna is sad with a cactus then. What the hell? Are you kidding me? They killed eyes and shoulders? This movie blows. So Chris has a gun to his hip 
Then an hour later, Anna finally shows up in a spiffy dress, right on time or actually late, but whatever, and the tax man song plays. Then she says she's the tax man. You are the tax man. Here to collect. So then Anna, being the big brain that she is, puts a $10 million bounty on the villain's head after she opens the briefcase for the big buyer. Then an epic fight scene where Chris suplexes another guy, so that's like three people now. So the wheel that makes this place turn gets shot and it starts going really fast, don't ask me why. Then an epic fight scene ensues. Okay, okay, now this next part may sound crazy, but I promise, I'm not lying. Ryan Reynolds shows up just to lose his hearing and leave. I mean, see for yourself. Sadie? Oh, I'm an ally. Jonas? I have missed you so much. Listen, it was never gonna work out between us. No, 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 of course it wasn't. I was losing too many body parts. That's not sustainable. But if you look on the bright side, I still have 20 vision. Jonas, I'm in the middle of something here. I know, look. Losing the eye sucked, but I'll tell you, getting this thing blown off, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Seriously, it changed my whole life. I'm a good, solid, active listener now. Oh, that's the other ear. I didn't need to hear you. Keep going. You do what you do. So there's a joke in this movie that everyone she is with loses some body part, Dexter, I guess. But yeah, that explains that. Let's move on. Then Anna fight. Then Anna fights the villains, dude, almost losing the vial. Then Chris saves her. Then she saves Chris. Then they kill the bad guy and get the weapon. Then they kiss. The end. Almost. Then Anna has dinner with the family. Then Anna kidnaps a guy and leaves him in her trunk until after their date's over. Cause that's a good idea. So fun fact. Chris is a producer on this film and Anna Dianmas is an executive producer. So now we know why they did this movie because of that sweet producer cash. So, <laughs> so the end, thanks Skydance for this beautiful film, 8 out of 10. So next up is Get Smart. So you might be wondering why I included this film because he works for the spies but he doesn't become a spy until the start of the movie. Like the movie Spy. Also Spy will probably be talked about in a part 2 of this video but for now let's discuss Get Smart. So here we have Steve or Maxwell. I'm going to be calling him Steve though since that's the actor's name. So he's like an analyst guy and The Rock is the big muscle agent man around along with Anne. Not to be confused with Anna from the last movie. Get it? Oh okay. Anyways it goes into the future field with Anne and spoiler alert the rock is evil his character not him in real life although no 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 no, we're not opening that can of worms let's move on so he becomes a spy because hey so this is future me i was unable to finish editing the get smart thing because i couldn't find the footage i needed but i do want to say that the i'm gonna still put the end on what i gave it on the score sorry for the inconvenience but yeah next film is gonna be after that then the end so pretty fun I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. So next up is Night and Day. <laughs> so this one, as you can see from the title, this guy is a knight-ish, so he's a spy. spy. So Tom goes on a plane and it crashes. So Cameron Diaz sees that he's a spy and he tells her to stay by him. I will stand tall by you even if I voodoo. Also, by the way, I just want to play you this scene that I thought was hilarious. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, 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 everybody get down. No one follows us or I kill myself and then her. It's like, you know, Tom just brings a great energy to this film that makes it extra charming and kind of fully made me fall in love with this. Otherwise, okay film. So Cameron is dating a firefighter, then the beach. So later, she thinks that Tom is the bad guy, then she realizes that he's not evil. Thanks, gal. I will speak to you any way I please, Tony. We both know you're lucky I'm here. I have the battery. I'm on a schedule. The world is full of bad guys and people are calling. Entiendo. ¿Y cuál es tu precio? I understand. What's your price? I have a figure in mind. What's it worth to you? Are you angry about your island, Roy? Tick, 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 tick. 
so then they save the day together and have an epic team up and love story. I love you. You complete me. So this one gets a 9 out of 10, mainly because of Tom, also because I just wanted to. So this one is shorter just because I wanted to keep these a little shorter than I did the first two. So these last two are going to be a little shorter and more specific. I thought this movie was pretty good for, you know, what it is. It might be my favorite one out of the bunch today, maybe my second favorite, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll rank them at the end. So last but not least, I think, it's Keeping Up With The Joneses. So in this story, we have Ham, Gal, Isla, and Zach because his last name is too long. So this film starts with kids going away, so we don't have to deal with them, and then we meet our neighbors. They are secretly evil. So anywho, what, okay, let's meet the new neighbors. So the truck comes in, we get a sense for Isla and Zach's life. Zach works at MBI in human resources, but other people there make rockets or something. So the Joneses are the spies. I so they pretend spy. to be the normal people. Ham does travel blogging and Gal saves the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? It has a cooking blog. And an empty spice rack. She wows the neighbors with her appetizers. No spices. Never judge a woman by her spice rack, Kara. So Ham gives Isla and Zack some stupid glass blown statue to listen in on them because they're trying to find the evil dude trying to sell the chips to Scorpion. Also, Zack's computer is the only one that can access the internet. That's why they think it's him also skydiving. And Isla Fisher's character is very suspicious of the neighbors. And guess what? There is a Chinese word for cul-de-sac. It's Setang Hayo. So let's just get the elephant out of the room. So I don't really know what immediately comes to your mind when you think of this movie, but I just think of the lingerie scene. Now I just think of it because it's in the movie and spies and stuff, and I don't know why. I'm glad you guys can't see my face because it's so red. Anyways, but anyways, Isla thinks that these people are evil and not spies. Like they're with the Germans or Russians or somethings. So they tell the manager guy of MBI, and then he gets shot by the actual bad guys. Oh! I'm in a hit! I'm in a hit! I'm in a hit! Oh my god! Are you hurt? I've been shot! Oh god! No, honey, it's just a latte! It burns! It burns! So after this, they escape with Ham and Gal and find out they're spies. We're gonna get in the car for Patrick and Mikey. Hi, right, honey? Guys, now! It is very dangerous! Now! When I count to three, we're gonna run, okay? One, two... Jeff! Oh my god! I said three! Jeff! Please, would you just get in the car? How is we gonna head start? On your wife? Then waterboarding. Oh wait, never mind. So our fun is interrupted when they decide to interrogate him instead of waterboarding him. So that sucks, minus one point. So after this, they find out about the chips and the deal going down. And because Ham and Gal are compromised or something, they send Isla and Zach. And then Ham tells Zach this. Just out of curiosity, what happens, you know, worst case scenario? Worst case scenario, we radio for backup. We storm the place with the full force of the United States government. Okay, got it. Okay. Which is a lie because of this. Helicopter, we are getting the hell out of here. We need backup to extract the decoys. Do you copy? Negative. Collateral damage. But Ham and Gal go in because... They're our neighbors. Okay, sure, why not? So then they all almost die, but then arousal wins out again. As Gal and Isla kiss, allowing Gal to get a knife and win. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, this actually happens. If I wasn't showing you physical proof right now, you probably wouldn't believe me. I mean, this movie, it's just... <laughs> it's ridiculous. But for me, it's ridiculous in the best way. It's just a matter of perspective-ish. But yeah, 10 out of 10. Wait, I did minus one point. Okay, whatever. 10 out of 10. It, I just, I can't. <laughs> This, this this movie ending on the ending they just jump in a pool cool right pool cool that rhymed but yeah that's yeah there's a post credit scene and, and instead of talking about it i'll just play it for you unless it gets copyrighted they meet them again and they have a fake baby okay there's summary if this 
piece gets copyrighted. So with these kinds of movies, I always find it funny that the normal people pretty much are fine with killing people after the first time. You know, they say the first time is the hardest. <laughs> but anyways, I just think more people should make these kinds of movies. But you know, to each their own. So yeah, those are kind of all the ridiculous spy movies for today. Feel free to recommend me more. Like I said, I already have a very long list, but you might think of a film I didn't think of or haven't seen. So just tell me down below and also what's your favorite film from this section today. Tell me down below. Like and subscribe and as always stay cool, stay weird, stay you and I'll see you next time. Bye!